A new local museum is holding its grand opening this weekend, and it's dedicated to a Stewart tank that was used during World War II. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers has a sneak peek. So this footage is actually filmed by my great-grandfather during World War II. He actually owned a film shop in Berwick at the time. Let's take you back to 1941. The video of the parade is actually the Thousandth Tank Parade they had here in Berwick to celebrate the production of the Thousandth Stuart Light Tank built by American Car and Foundry. It got national attention from news media and things like that. You had N uh, ABC, uh, NBC, uh, CBS, all that kind of stuff, all here in Berwick. American Car and Foundry in Berwick is best known among historians and enthusiasts as the sole World War producer of the M3 light tank series, the new showstopper at the Stewart Tank Memorial Museum. This is an M3 light tank. It was one of the first models built here in Berwick. This one came off the assembly line in June of 1942. It had a four-man crew, a driver, an assistant driver, tank commander and gunner. The museum has been 18 years in the making, and it's full of things you may have never known about our area. Early in the war, Adolf Hitler had plans to build a bomber that could reach the United States from the Azores Islands, and he had picked 19 targets on the East Coast that he wanted to hit. And one of those targets was the American Car and Foundry in Berwick, Pennsylvania. You can see authentic photos, pins, coins, and more. The best part? It's 100% free of cost. Thanks to our contributors, our donors, and our volunteers, and we continue on our mission of educating the public. All our events are free, open to the public, and we run specifically on, on contributions. There's no admission charges. The Stewart Tank Memorial Museum is hosting its grand opening Saturday from noon to 3 p.m. In Berwick, Nicole Rogers, 2022 Eyewitness News.